What's up guys? We're here on the public test server going over the arc pass because there's a lot of confusion, a lot of uh, people asking questions about the arc pass. And so for one thing, we've got some clarification that this is just a air tool tip. So it says kill ancestral level 30 plus mobs or level 30 mobs, uh, normal, strong and elite monsters. This supposedly does not mean that because there currently isn't even any ancestral mobs in the game that are level 30. It just means kill any level 30 mobs. Uh, so we're going to test out here on these weak monsters to see if it will trigger the quests. It does not. So let's go test out over here on a normal creature and see if it triggers the quests. So we're over in Halcyon right now. And yep, you can see a normal creature over level 30 will trigger this quest. Which means that anyone can do this. This can be easily, you know, um, rated up and just spammed. This is not something that you're going to need to have to do crazily like before. Because you don't have to do 130 missions. You just got to do 12 missions a week. So this can be done normally, naturally, through just doing your Haram dailies, for example. In Reedwin, for example, you kill 100 mobs right there. Uh, going around doing the other Haram dailies, you kill around 500 mobs probably with all the Haram dailies that you do. So you can do this quest in a Haram reset raid. Very simple, very easy. Anyone can do this. So this quest is very, very simple, very easy to do. The Blue Salt Bond quest. This one is a probably the easiest quest in the game here to do on the Arc Pass. This one says, go to a community center, do a blue salt bond quest, which are simply give the community center 20 iron, 60 iron, 100 iron, 20 lumber, 60 uh, lumber, etc. So all these give the community center quests X amount of items, and then they re reward you with a blue salt bond. So there, it's, the mats that you need for this are iron, lumber, fabric, and leather. And each community center will have a different quest. And you can check on the community center boards right here, which community centers need which materials. So you click on this and it says zones demanding lumber. Uh, and it tells you here the forests, peninsula, white arda, and hell swamp. And it tells you the values. You can do each of these quests once a day for one blue salt bond. So we could do the 20 quest, we could do the 60 quest, and we could do the 100 quest. If we did the 60 quest in White Arden, we cannot do the 60 quest in Hell Swamp. You can also stack these. So for example, if you don't do it one day and you grab all the quests, they'll still be able to be turned in the next day, the following day. And then this one here, temper a piece of gear. Use a solar temper times three, use a lunar temper times three, use a resplendent solar temper times three uses sprinted lunar temper times three so people really really dislike this quest if you dislike this quest you get six rerolls a day this quest is good for different types of people uh, some people will not be able to kill monsters for example or we'll change this right here so they still have the quote unquote exploit that you can do and change the arc passes so don't do this in the live version but i'm just doing this since i've used up all the daily rerolls already so some people will not be able to do this quest for example to kill legendary and mythic monsters and so this is going to be any legendary and any mythic monster over level 30 will trigger and you got to kill 20 so essentially kill big bosses out in the world so some people can't do that. So they're going to be doing things like temper or they're going to be doing things like synthesis. There are ones that say temper or synthesis and people are really bitching and complaining about this quest on the forums. They're like, we don't want these. We, these are bad. These are horrible. Like we're already max gemmed. We, we can't do these quests. Well, you have to think about the other players. So the players that are just starting or players that are kind of casual, semi-casual, they're not going to be fully gemmed. They're not going to be fully tempered. They're going to need to be doing these things, and they're naturally going to be doing these quests, these events over time. If you're already max tempered and maxed out on these gems, simply re-roll that quest and then do a different quest. If you're maxed out on all that stuff, you should very easily be able to do the kill you know, monster quest. You should very easily be able to do the kill uh, legendary monsters. 
you can always easily do the blue salt bond quest. Those are super simple. Let's change this up again and show you different quests that you can be potentially be doing. So every time that you do open up these guys, it does cost Gale to Stars. So five Gale to Stars for the first one, two blue salt hammers for the second one, and ten Gale to Stars for the last one. You can see there's a quest. Uh, very simple. Gain one million XP. One million XP sounds like a lot, but every time that you kill a mob in Aegis Isles, for example, you get around like 25,000 XP. So killing an ancestral mob will get you a lot of XP. You don't really need to kill that many mobs to get this one million. You also get XP every time that you spend labor points, and you're going to generate a good amount of XP for just spending labor. Working overtime, the labor quest, very simple, very easy to do. Spend 2,000 labor. Uh, people may, hey, I don't have that much labor. Well, yes, you do. Every day you get 2,880 labor. And with the Arc Pass, every time that you do one of these quests, you're going to level up at least one time, potentially two times, because every quest will give you 1,500 EXP. The quest, the level up here, it only requires 1,268, which means every quest you're going to get an additional 240 or 232 EXP that's going to overflow into the next level. That means every time you do one of these quests, you're going to get one of these rewards. And in these rewards, you get free labor points. Like you get bound labor recharges every five levels or every three levels. So look at this. You get a ton of labor for doing the Arc Pass quest. So don't bitch and complain that you don't have labor. This is actually going to cause the game to have too much labor. Let's look at this. So every week, you're going to be able to do about 15 levels in the Arc Pass. So let's start from level 1 to level 15. We would end up getting drop rate potions. We would end up getting 1,500 honor, 45 diligence coins, 3 labor recharges. We're now at 3,000 honor points. We're at 6 labor recharges. We're at 90 diligence coins. We're at 9 labor recharges. We're at a temper. We're at 4,500 honor points. We're at 12 labor recharges. And we're at another 135 diligence coins. So, if you did all 12 of your missions and you unlocked 15 levels in the Arc Pass, you get 135 diligence coins. Plus, every mission that you do, you're going to get 2 diligence coins, which means you get 24 more. So, that means you get 159 diligence coins a week by doing 12 missions that you're going to be generally doing just through natural gameplay that you're already doing. The killing mobs, for example, you're already going to be doing that. The using labor, you're already going to be doing that. The earning XP, you're already going to be doing that. These quests right here are going to naturally complete over time. Simply doing two a day is very, very easy. You're also going to get 12 bound labor recharges for doing these quests. That's a ton of labor. That's essentially 12,000 labor points. You also get that diligence coins, which you can turn them into more bound labor recharges. You got 100 and we'll round it up, we'll say 160. That converts into 32 more labor recharges if you want to use all your diligence coins into labor recharges. That means every week you can get 32 labor recharges from the diligence coins, and then you get 12 for the quests for leveling up. So that means you get 40... What is that? 44? 44 labor recharges every week for doing 12 quests. You also get some honor if you went on this path, or if you went on the other path, you get vocation, or the other path, you get Kiros badges. So you get a ton of things. You get way more uh, items and materials than you would by the compensation package. Yes, it does take a little bit of work, but look, very simple. So all these quests, like I said here, this is just natural. So hey, let's go do a CR. Let's go G do a GR. Let's go do a Aegis Island quest. This is going to complete your 2000 honor. Let's go and upgrade a gear or let's go craft some tax certs. That's going to complete the working overtime. That's also going to generate you a ton of EXP. Let's change these quests and see, you know, how easy it is to do. You also get six rerolls a day. So if you get really unlucky and these quests are really bad for you, you're like, okay, well, let's reroll. We'll change it over to the vocation one again. Again, these six rerolls are free every single day. 
What I'm doing here is an exploit. You do not want to do this. I'm just doing this to explain these different kinds of quests. Uh, kill 10 legendary monsters or mythic monsters. So if your server doesn't have people doing boss raids, doing monster, you know, bosses out there in the world, and those aren't available to you, just simply re-roll that quest. Not everyone will be able to do that, but everyone will be able to spend labor. Everyone will be able to gain EXP. Let's change this again. Honor points. Vocation badges. Vocation badges are very easy to do. Yes, you can get 4,000 vocation badges a day by simply doing all of your family dailies. You want to do your family dailies. Temper, maybe it's hard for you to do, so you don't do that one. Again, you just simply need to do two of these quests a day. You get six rerolls, so if you don't like, if, if, if tempering is not your thing and this is not what you want to do, don't do this one. Don't even reroll it. Just do these ones. And then when you get a quest that you don't like on these ones, simply reroll this one. Be like, hey, I don't want to get honor points anymore. I've done all my dailies. I'm going to reroll this one. And then when you reroll that one, it will change. And you might get kill monsters, for example. Hey, we got honor points. So we would simply reroll again. Kill hostile players. So if you're a person that can't do this or doesn't like to kill hostile players, then you reroll that. For example, you know, six rerolls a day. All you need to do is essentially two quests a day. It is not very hard to do two of these quests a day. A lot of these things are going to be just happen naturally. So labor happens naturally. Temper. Again, if you're not maxed out, you're going to be tempering things. All right, guys, I will talk to you guys later. If you have any other questions, post them down below. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Happy holidays.